As far as natural mysteries go, the Devil's Kettle in Minnesota is one of the most intriguing ones. At a particular point along the Brule River, the river's water splits into two. One split continues its course onto the Lake Superior, and the other split, well, we have no clue where it goes. Scientists know it has to end up somewhere, but we don't know where that is. Scientists first tried putting dye into the kettle and waited to see which part of the lake turns up colors. It was a futile effort. Nothing turned up. Next, they decided to try it with ping pong balls. They also vanished without a trace. What the hell is going on? We all know that laws of science dictate that the water has to turn up somewhere. Even if it is being stored underground, there should be markings and it should be traceable. Aliens, parallel universe, glitch in our programming, some Mayan trick? Your guess is as good as mine. Residents of Hestalen Valley, Norway are continually living in a realm of great scientific mystery. Almost every night, lights appear in the sky. They are of bright colors. They dance around, shift shapes, flash unmistakably, and disappear, only to appear the next day during the night. This has been going on for four decades at least. Scientists are perplexed by this mystery. There are theories though, but none seems to be good enough. Since at least the early 1930s, people have spotted the lights and hypothesized what could be causing them. One theory suggests that the lake is radioactive. The radon rides dust particles, and upon elevations, it decays and produces lights. Another theory suggests that the base of the valley is full of sulfuric acid. Sulfur reacts to the water and produces what scientists call sparks. Hundreds of tests have been performed to pinpoint the exact cause, but to no avail. In southeastern Romania, there is a cave that was locked away from the slightest ray of light for 5.5 million years, and that has a completely different atmosphere from the Earth. The cave was discovered by workers looking to set up a power plant. They tested the ground to see if it was a safe place to build, and cracked open a pathway that leads into one of the strangest places on Earth. If you descend through the narrow shaft and past a series of tunnels, you enter a chamber with a lake of sulfuric water stinking of rotten eggs. The air there is toxic, filled with hydrogen sulfide, and contaminated with 100 times the surface's level of carbon dioxide. The strangest part, though, is that a whole ecosystem has survived inside it. Researchers have found 33 species inside the cave that don't exist anywhere outside of it. They've adapted to survive in a sulfuric atmosphere, living by feeding off a foam on top of the stones. The Soviet Union had many nuclear facilities, and most of them were ill-planned and unsafe. Inside one such factory, there is a lake. The lake's water has more radioactive material than anywhere else on Earth. Lake Karashe is so radioactive that you will die within an hour if you stand near it. Soviets dumped nuclear waste into the lake. Their nuclear practices have caused a few problems with the lake in the past. In 1957, an explosion blew the factory apart, and the radioactive particles spread more than 23,000 kilometers. The area is more radioactive than Chernobyl. The lake has been covered with concrete to keep these disasters from happening. Still, the entire place is eerily unstable and massively radioactive. In the countryside of Piemonte, Italy, there is an unusual sight. There is a cherry tree there that looks, in most respects, just like any other healthy cherry tree, except that it happens to be growing directly on top of a mulberry tree. This isn't completely unprecedented. Parasitic trees have grown out of others before, but normally they are small, stunted things that live short lives before falling off. 
The double tree of Casorzo, though, consists of two fully formed, healthy trees, each spreading its branches five meters across. Nobody quite knows how it happened. The locals believe that a bird may have dropped a cherry seed on top of the mulberry tree. The seed grew roots that pushed through the mulberry tree's hollow trunk and reached all the way to the soil below, letting it survive and grow into a full, healthy tree. Number 5. The Sleeping City of Kalachi The city of Kalachi, Kazakhstan is not Disney's creation. It is as real as it gets. Citizens of Kalachi face a very peculiar epidemic. People just collapse into naps randomly, even while walking on the road. They also report memory loss, fatigue, and hallucinations. The epidemic affects people from all genders and ages. Kazakhstan has even recommended evacuations, but they are no closer to solving the problem. One theory suggests that the residents are facing some kind of radiation poisoning, since the area is near a uranium mine. However, there are flaws in that theory. All the blood tests and other monitoring has turned up zero evidence. Secondly, there is a town which is closer to the mine than Kalachi, and they have reported no such epidemic. There is an ecological mystery sitting throughout Namibian deserts. There are fields of grass with circles carved in them at regular intervals. The circles are almost perfectly created and can range from 10 to 65 feet in diameter. And by the way, if you are thinking of the movie The Signs, you are not alone. Forget explaining the circles. Scientists are not even sure of the more basic questions, such as, why are there circles? Why not any random shape? Nothing grows in these circle patches. Scientists have come up with various theories and all have been debunked almost immediately. In 2013, Norbert Jerkins, an environmental scientist, said that termites were the cause of the circles. But in 2015, biologist Walter Schinkel tested the hypothesis and disproved it. Number three. A barely audible buzzing sound that you cannot pinpoint can infuriate you. We have all been there when a distant lawnmower or our TV starts making a buzz, and unless and until we don't find where it's coming from, it feels like our brain is eating itself from the inside. Now imagine the pain and frustration of residents of Taos in New Mexico. Since the early 1990s, large numbers of residents of Taos have complained about a constant humming sound. It can be heard all around the town and has driven people nuts. For 20 years, various investigators have tried to locate the hum, but to no success. Some scientists have hypothesized that the town's residents are super hearers who can detect sound that ordinary humans can't. But doesn't that raise more questions than it answers? Western Venezuela, over the Catatumbo River, there is a storm that never ceases. Starting at 7 p.m. every night, lightning crashes over the water for 10 hours every night, 260 nights each year. Nobody knows for sure why it happens. Up until recently, the leading theory was that it had something to do with uranium in the bedrock, although scientists are starting to doubt it. Today, the leading theory is a complicated one. It posits that the shape of the mountains cause warm trade winds to collide with cold air from the Andes. That collision is then fueled by the rapidly evaporating water below and methane from a nearby oil field. Nobody actually knows for sure, though, why it happens. Everything about it is mysterious, including one moment in 2010 when it inexplicably stopped. One day, the storm just died down without explanation and seemed, for a while, to be over. Then, after six weeks of silence, it sparked up again and has been raging ever since. D. 
Deep in the Amazon lies a river four miles long and unlike any other on Earth. The Shanae Timpishka is so hot that any animal that steps into it gets boiled alive. When a hapless creature wanders in, the eyes cook first, melting in its skull. Soon the animal is in too much pain to keep swimming to safety. Water fills its mouth and lungs and it is cooked from the inside out. The river gets as hot as 91 degrees Celsius, 196 degrees Fahrenheit, and scientists aren't completely sure why. Normally, water that gets this hot is fed by a volcano, but this one is 700 kilometers removed from the nearest one. There is a theory, though. Scientists believe that boiling hot water from under the earth cracks through fault lines and heats up the river, making the water a geothermal system unlike any other on Earth.